All right, this second box is in uh, tones of yellow, teal, and there's some green and blue in there as well. But this is um, the first stack. The first paper was from Doodlebug's new uh, summertime collection. This one is from the Doodlebug Down the Farm collection. The um, bow dye is from my collection. I just put a shrinky dink right there. The recipient's initial is here. Once again, it is acts like an explosion box and just opens right up there. I put some die cuts on either side to dress that up just a little bit. Let's get a better angle there. Once again, there's the post-it note. This one, Velcro shut. And a small little panel over here. I was going to put a place for a calendar, but being the fact that it's almost May, it seemed pointless. This time I put the um, tags on the left and the small note cards on the right. And then this one has four note cards. Um, these are um, actually used some stamped images I already had and just designed the cards and the color scheme around what I already had on hand. So th there they are. Hi everyone, it's Loretta, and I have made three stationary boxes over the last few days. Um, these are a lot of fun to make, but they're time consuming. Um, one of these is uh, a little different than the first, um, and I'll show you the differences when we get there. But the first one is for, um, the, they're all for gifts, and they are personalized, so um, I am not going to share the actual names, but you can see the initial. And when you take off the top of these, they just kind of back like an explosion box and they open up. This one just has a small um, post-it note holder with a pen that I actually, this is an RSVP pen. I used a piece of scrap uh, pattern paper that matches what I used in the, from the actual box. And um, it measures about seven inches by um, three quarters and you just roll that into a tube and you have Instapen. So um, this has two, three, four, five. This one has six cards. They're all pretty much the same except for the sentiment. There's like a thank you, sympathy, um, thinking of you, praying for you, hello kind of thing. And there are three small three by three note cards. And there are some layered tags. I just say two from on the back. Now, these are actually um, a retired Sizzix die. All right, this second box is in uh, tones of yellow, teal, and there's some green and blue in there as well. But this is um, the first stack. The first paper was from Doodlebug's new uh, summertime collection. This one is from the Doodlebug Down the Farm collection. The um, bow die is from my collection. I just put a shrinky dink right there. The recipient's initial is here. Once again, it is acts like an explosion box and just opens right up there. I put some die cuts on either side to dress that up just a little bit. Let's get a better angle there. Once again, there's the post-it note. This one Velcro shut. And a small little panel over here. I was going to put a place for a calendar, but being the fact that it's almost May, it's seemed pointless. This time I put the um, tags on the left and the small note cards on the right. And then this one has four note cards. Um, these are um, actually used some stamped images I already had and just designed the cards and the color scheme around what I already had on hand. So th there they are. All right, here is the last box and this is the one that I did a little different than the others. Um, this actually has um, a layer of cardstock, which is white underneath the pattern cardstock, just to really kind of make that uh, pop out. We're gonna move a little closer so you can really see that. There's the bow. This one fits really tight. Um, it fits really tight on this one because of that extra layer. 
Same thing here on the very back panel. I added a layer of white cardstock in the pattern paper. Same thing with the small little boxes that hold the note cards and the tags. This time the note cards have a pinwheel on them. I think that that is just absolutely adorable. The pinwheel came from AliExpress. And um, if you have any questions as to which seller I got that from, let me know. If I remember, I'll put it down below in the description box. And here we have another post-it pad. This is just tied with a knot. I don't want to untie it. Because I actually like the, well, the knot was kind of seen down, okay? And then over here, it just says live joyfully. And it has that tulip design there. And then the cards are very simple. Once again, they have the tulips. A hello, thinking of you. You are special and happy birthday. Um, all of these card sets do have envelopes to go with them and most of them are like this one where I just stamped the image. I've got an envelope crooked. It's actually is very straight. But um, I did stamp the envelopes with the same um, little flowers and then over here it's finished off with that live joyfully and that stamp and um, just stamped over the top after you know doing a second generation stamp in there so this one the inside panels are just finished with cardstock here and on the outside of the box as well on both sides i even finished the bottom of this one only because this is holding more items than the other boxes are i wanted to make sure that bottom was going to be nice and secure and the nice thing about this is because of the way they open you can use this as a writing surface if you so desired. So these are going to go to the ladies um, that um, I made them for on Sunday as thank you gifts for helping to take care of me while I'm recovering from surgery. I hope you all all doing very well. Stand happy and be a blessing. Remember, live joyfully. If you want to get in on the 2000 subscriber giveaway, I will put the link down below so you can watch it and follow the instructions for a chance to win a $25 PayPal friends and family gift from me. Uh, that is from the 25th of April until the 28th of April in 2018. If you are watching this after that, then um, obviously the giveaway is closed. For more information, visit my website. Don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Give them a thumbs up if you've liked them and share them on your social media. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.